Before this episode starts, I just want to mention that I went and caught an Abra. They're a little bit annoying because I was using the daycare just going back and forth and I wound up just finding one in the wild. And I decided to name this Abra Portable. But yes, the daycare. The daycare. I decided to put in Excelente, my new muscle, as well as Jupiter into the daycare. Just to get them a couple more levels, make them a little bit more on par with the rest of my team. All I did was just kind of wander around a little bit. But the daycare has one big thing that can be annoying if you decide to use it. The daycare, if you have four moves already, what happens is the first move gets deleted if you were to learn a new move when you're in the daycare. And then the rest of the list gets shoved up while the new move goes to the bottom. And then it just keeps going on and on and on. So you might want to be wary where the moves are on your list that you want to get rid of. So in the case of Excellente, I had to move Extra Sensory down a Metronome as well so I wouldn't lose those. Just in case. And speaking of the daycare, Excellente grew 10 levels, Muscle grew 3, and Jupiter grew 2. So that's about it. Let's get into the episode proper. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Heart to Gold, where last time we explored Goldenrod City proper, but we still have two more things to do. And yes, the lady on the right over there is as hideous with the stretched eye going on on my actual screen. That's not a weird scaling thing, that's just literally how it is. We have this right over here, the bike tunnel. Watch out, get off your bike in the tunnel. Yep, we can't use the bike that we just got. And if you ride it around long enough, you get a call from the bike shop saying that the advertisement worked and he's selling bikes. So you get to keep the bike. Unfortunately, that happened while I was grinding out some levels at the daycare. So I wasn't really able to get footage of that because I didn't notice, but it's fine because now I own a bike. So let's go inside the tunnel. Hi, Azure, you're just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present for me. We get the fashion case. Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. See you. So exactly what she said, keep the accessories in the fashion case. We're probably never going to use this feature like at all. All we really do is just dress up a one with it and that's about it. <laughs> Honestly, there isn't really too much to do with that in this version of the game and even Soul Silver for that matter. I'll challenge you a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You better be careful. Are you okay with that? You think you'll be fine? Jupiter is poking at garbage. Yeah, I guess Lyra probably did just throw like a soda can on the floor or something. Who knows? Either way, they weren't kidding because right down here we do have some Pokemon battles to deal with. Which can be a little scary. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Well, unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to because I am not intending on using any of my rare Pokemon. Okay, Donald, you have a Slowpoke at a level 11 variety. So Jupiter is not level 15 due to the daycare. Unfortunately, kind of a little issue there because let's just get rid of the Slowpoke really quickly. There we go. And there we go, level 16. Another Slowpoke? No, I think Jupiter's got this. Now let's just take care of this with another Thundershock. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I lost, that makes me mad. Yes, Jupiter is evolving. Jupiter was supposed to evolve at level 15, but daycare makes it so you can't evolve, unfortunately. But this is fine. He's now, Jupiter is now a Flaffy. What do you want, Joey? <laughs> Azure, howdy. It's Joey. Hi, how are you? Oh yeah, I saw a wild Caterpie. I thought about going for it, but then I failed. Oh, well, I guess that's just not the way it goes. Or, it is the way it goes, bleh. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. Well, you have the top percent already, dude. You're fine. So, Flaffy. It's 
pop this open and then find where Flaffy is in the Pokedex. You know what? I'm just going to do a little bit of a search. So, nice thing about searching is I could just do A through Z and then hit OK. And then I actually just type in the name if I want to and just hit the F button. There we go. OK. And then hit Start. There we are, Flaffy. As a result of storing too much electricity, it develops patches where even downy wool won't grow. I like this little Pokedex feature. I like the little animations. It's cute. Quite a neat little feature that we could do. Do you consider Pokemon types in battle? No, I don't. I am the worst person to be asking this question, but you are the worst person to be asking me that question. If you know about the different types of Pokemon, you'll do better in battle. I know, but unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> because I have very little Pokemon knowledge when it comes to typing. Super Nerd Teru, on the other hand, has a bunch of electric types. So unfortunately, Jupiter, who just evolved, is not really gonna do too great when it comes to this. I mean, I could do a tackle. I might as well just throw one of those out there and just see how much I do. I mean, it's level seven compared to me, which is honestly not that bad. But ow, that was actually really loud. <laughs> okay. So obviously this is not going to work. So how about I swap out for a little bit of excelente action? Oh, ow. I didn't do that much. That's fine. Extra sensory. For not very effective, that still did way more. Which I'm totally fine with because, yes, I may not know typings, but I can still know how to beat your butt in. There we go. Alright, a Magnemite. So yes, I will swap my Pokemon out. I'm going to put out... How about a little bit of a, uh... Turbo. That's such a weird animation, but I'm gonna throw a rock in your face. I'm still terrible at remembering these type matchups. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw an Ember at you then. There we go. That's the one I meant to do, but I hit the wrong button, technically. I wanted to throw a rock first to test the waters. Yeah, I'm not making an excuse. I just completely forgot. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I actually did forget that it's weak to fire. Yes. I did a lot. But this is fine. There we go, Turbo. You're all good, buddy. That hits you at level 16. Harden. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. They need to have an option in these games to make it so it doesn't have the do you really want to not do this thing? So you can just be like, Oh, when you want to forget a move, you hit forget a move, but if you don't want to forget a move, you hit no, and then it just cancels it from there instead of saying, really? This is kind of annoying. You're faster than me, so you're actually going to get rid of me if I don't do anything. So how about I throw out a little bit of misfortune at you? This is not a good idea, but it's fine. Misfortune, you can handle this. Your debut battle, technically. I did some off camera, but it's okay. I got bored. <laughs> All right, this is your debut battle of a Dragon Rage. Ow! This is fine. There we go. And we're all set there. Yeah. I would say ow, but it's fine. You're, you're good. So what do we got over here? We have what looks to be a camera. Hello there. Welcome to the Memorial Photo Studio. We are no ordinary studio. You can wear a Team Rocket uniform to take a picture. Uh, sure? This is weird, but okay. Look cool as if you own the world. Yeah, whenever you- Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Muscle, you just got Mike Wazowski'd hard. 
Good job. You can check the picture using the PC. Yeah, every single time you find a person that takes pictures, they can just take a picture for you. But yeah, you got Mike Wazowski hard there. I'm so sorry about that. Either way. Hello. Oh, your Pokemon are so very charming. How enchanting. You dress up your Pokemon here, make it a sight to behold. Then I'll even hang a picture of one in the other room. You'll do this, won't you? Uh, no. I'm not gonna bother with this. This is like fashion stuff. I'm not gonna really touch up on that. But yeah, we have three different shops here. These shops are a little weird. This first one here is called the Bargain Shop. The Bargain Shop is only open on Monday mornings from 4 to 9.59 a.m. Kind of really weird timing. It's like, oh, I need to wake up really early to get this. They deal in very valuable items such as nuggets, pearls, big pearls, stardust, and star pieces. The things that sell for money. They sell them for cheaper. And you go out and sell them elsewhere and make money off of it. So you kind of have a way of getting money if you have the money to even make the money to begin with. Over here, on the other hand, is the Pokemon Salon, the center shop. Two brothers own this one. Right now, we have Pokemon Salon. These are the older and the better of the two haircut brothers. Yes, there are two ones. The younger brother charges 300, while the older brother charges 500 because he's better. This shop is closed on Mondays, but... They make them beautiful for just 500 Pokey or 300, like I said. Grooming gives a Pokemon a better look. Your Pokemon will become friendlier and more beautiful. Would you like me to do that? Sure. Which Pokemon should I work on? I want you to work on Excelente, please. Make that egg yolk shine. There, all done. Excelente looks delighted. I would hope so. How do you feel about that, Jupiter? I know you didn't get the haircut or anything, but... You seem to be feeling great about walking with me. Good. This bottom shop over here, uh, I was kind of weirded out, but I couldn't get in the chair for some reason, is the herb shop. They sell medicinal herbs. They do energy roots, energy powders, revival herbs, and heal powders, those kind of things. They're less expensive, but they kind of make it so it's like, oh, they're bitter and friendship decreases when you use them, that sort of thing. They're only open on Saturdays and Sundays, so if you wanted to get those, just come here for that. It's a little weird. Either way, hello there. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. That's hilarious. You know why? Pokemaniac Isaac has a Lickitung. What hair? <laughs> I guess it just got like a shine going on it, I suppose. Either way. Thundershock, please. Ow. That actually might do some decent damage. Nope, nope. I'm fine. Thundershock again. Thank you for the shell bell. That's not a lot, but it's something. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem, but I think I should be okay. Jupiter, you got this. One more. And there we go, critical hit. Thank you. I still only got one from that, even though it's a critical. Fine. That puts me at level 17. All right. Hi. I'm not redoing that one. That was funny. <laughs> All right, Jupiter. You did good. So now we have one more to go. How about we swap in for muscle? Before we do that, let's go over here. We have another door that looks like no entry beyond this point. It looks like we can't enter for some reason, and it would help if I could enter by actually going to the door naturally, but that's fine. Hello there, last one. I got booted out of the game corner. I kept winning at the new coin game, and they thought I was cheating. Did they do mathematical prowess like I did in the last episode in order to show off how it works? <laughs> because if so, I can understand, <laughs> but um... Yeah, I don't know if Muscle's good for this battle, but I could throw out a Karate Chop. I mean, it was a crit, so it did a lot. Now I'm gonna do less, but maybe not. <laughs> Let's try again, Karate Chop. Ah, man, do a Harden again. Okay, he actually tried to hit me this time. That's fine. One more Karate Chop, please. There we go. Level 16, indeed. Another Grimer? Um, actually, 
Yes. Miss Fortune, how about we get a couple more stuff going on with you? All right. Dragon Rage, please. There we go. Yeah, I would grumble too. So, down here, in every other version of the game that isn't the US version, pretty much the ones that don't have Voltorb Flip, have the coin case down here. This is where you get it, and then you can start doing game corner stuff. It's weird, but that's just how it was originally. Now let's just head out of here. Hello there. There's some shops downstairs. But there are also trainers. I'm sorry to go down there. It's fine. Took care of them. They will never use the Pokemon Center again. Since they don't have the ability to call me to rebattle me. So their Pokemon are always going to be fainted for life. Alright. And now that we've healed our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. We are going to go towards the gym and face the gym challenge. The gym is actually going to be right over here. Hello there. Yo, champ in the making! This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Yes, fighting type Pokemon indeed. This game has kind of given you a little bit of an out by making it so you can use muscle when you do the trade. Because muscle starts off with fighting type moves. In this case, it started off with two, but since I leveled it up in the... It kind of lost one of them. So that, that's fine, I still got one. Either way. That's okay. So all we're really going to do is just kind of go along this trailer. And if you look at this little trail from up above, you see that it's in the shape of a Clefairy. It's kind of neat. It's like an aerial view of something from above. Yeah, it's no Jigglypuff, but it is funny. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Beauty Victoria. Centrip. Yeah, normal types indeed. There isn't really too much that we can really do here, aside from just maybe use fighting type moves, which I don't have currently with my setup with Turbo, but that's fine. I'm not too worried. Because I can just do that. <laughs> Another Centrip. This is perfect. Turbo, have another go. Oh, all right. I mean, this one was slightly higher level, so I understand that. I understand this too. Stop. Okay, good. That's fine. Ember. There we go. That's another one down. And we have another sentry. Thing with this one is it's slightly stronger. It's a level 16. So how about we show off a little bit of muscle action? All right, Muscle, I know you're probably naturally slower, but get a Karate Chop in there. I mean, with Quick Attack, yeah, that makes even more sense, but bam. And there we go. Let's see. Oops, it's over. Yeah, you only brought three, which is fine. Not too big of a deal. Yeah, we can just keep going along here and find another path down. We could go over here. Or we can just go up and around. In this case, this trainer over here, we had to go over this way in order to get through. Or we could just go the other way and avoid this trainer entirely. But that's fine. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. Will you now? You have two Pokemon. One of them is Meowth and they are level 16. Ooh, yeah, that, that could actually be a big deal. You know what? I'm going to see about poisoning you. That's fine, because I wasted my turn, you wasted yours. There we go. That definitely should help. All right. It's a little bit of a chip damage, but thank you for another growl, because now I get an actual attack out. There we go. And then the poison damage. It's not quite enough, but I could probably get away with like a rock throw, save my embers. Ooh, that's getting kind of dangerous. There we go. 
And another meow. All right. So how about I swap over to a little bit of, uh, your misfortune? Let's bring you out. The thing about misfortune, misfortune's a dragon. This <laughs> is so a dragon rage. Have fun with that. <laughs> So close. Oh no! Oh, Meowth, I'm so sorry! Which one? Alright, moving on. We can go up and around, which will lead us back over here. And then we can go down in here. We have two different trainers. We have the one right over here. You shouldn't have let your guard down just because I look tough. Snubble! Hello, movie advertisement. I mean, this is actually kind of a problem now because... Yeah, that's actually kind of high level. So how about I swap over to a little bit of uh, Toofly, please? Ew. That was a crit. All right, that's fine. Water gun. I could have bit you back. You licked me, I bite you, but this is fine. I'll just spit some water on you, and then I'll bite you. Or you can keep doing a water gun. Either way, ow. Okay, then I'm gonna bite you in return. I have the bigger jaw. I do more damage. There we go. Level 20. Gosh, I thought you were weak. No, maybe me personally, since I'm like, what, a 10 year old boy? But my Pokemon on the other hand, not so much. All right, so we have one more. I'm gonna swap over to, you know what? Misfortune, let's bring you back up to the front. For this next one. I like Q Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have strong and Q Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You do kind of have strong Pokemon. If you know how to use them in Smash. All right, Jigglypuff. You can be a bother or you might not be a bother. Let's find out which one you're going to be. You're going to be a bother, I see. All right, that's fine. Twister. only so much you can do. Here we go, level 16. Another Jigglypuff? Yes, I will swap. I'm gonna swap over to Muscle. You all, yes, I might be slower. I can still punch you in the face with a chop. Or it could be faster too, that works. There we go. Jigglypuff. All right, one more to go. And this one is also level 15, so it's not gonna be too much of a bother. All I gotta do is punch you in the face of a chop. And perfect. No, 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 no! One more to go. All right, how about we just go around? Because we have the trainer, Whitney. So, we already met her already, so we already know how she is. But we could swap over to, how about... Excelente, let's get you in the forefront for this. Hi, I'm Whitney. I already know who you are. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Your world consists of Pokemon, so were you just like... You didn't care about anything at all? Because the entire world is Pokemon, so it's just like, eh, okay. Which is even funnier because she's now a gym leader, which means that she got into it and she has sold out everything. One are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. 
I hope so, because you are a gym leader after all. You are challenged by Leader Whitney. Clefairy! Clefairy can be a big bother because we basically have a metronome battle going on. Let's do this. Metronome, please. This Clefairy knows double slap, mimic, encore, and metronome. So basically we are having metronome battle. Which is funny because it's probably just gonna be constantly using that because I'm constantly using it. Double slap can be slightly dangerous if that winds up happening though. But Mimic, on the other hand, if it decides to try to mimic maybe extrasensory, I might have a flight issue. I don't really know. I really doubt I ever will see it using Encore at this point. So we'll just kind of do a back and forth thing and we'll just see how this goes. So far, I got a Roost, which is definitely good for the health, but it's now just double slapping me. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six slaps. That's, ooh, okay, that was a crit. That could be a problem. I'll just try Metronome again. Um. Sure. <laughs> it's not too useful right now, but it's fine. We'll get a good move eventually. Stop using six double slaps on me. There we go. I was going to say. <laughs> Special attack bell, that's actually kind of useful right now, I think about it. Oh, hello. Why are you getting super lucky of yours and I'm getting like nothing? You know what? Extra sensory, please. A little better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that actually could be a bother. Metronome! Stop with the stat debuffs. It's not helping you at all. Ow, okay. I know I wanted to make fun of this, but I'm switching over to muscle now, please. Excellente, you did good, but you just keep getting stat debuffs. So, now I think muscle will be able to handle it. Ow, maybe not, that's a problem. Karate chop, please. Uh oh, this is a, okay, this could be a bother. Uh... Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I'll just chop you in the face again. One more time. There we go. That was a little dangerous. Played around, and I found out. Ha! <laughs> Milk tank, the bane of everyone's existence. This thing is a powerhouse with its signature rollout move. Hey, hey, just one left, but I ain't losing, you hear? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna chop your milk tank in the face if you don't kill me first. This milk tank knows rollout, which is the big move that I would normally do. Attract, which in this case we're both females, so it's not gonna matter, so it's never gonna use that. Stomp, which so far it seems to be using that constantly and still kinda hurts, so I might wanna heal that really quick. And they milk drink, which is essentially a free heal. So this thing can be really, really tanky if it wants to, it just depends on how the AI feels that day. In this case, let's see, we got another stomp, so it looks like I'm in a stomp battle. I'm okay with that. But maybe rollout might be a little bit better right now, but at least I have your weakness, so I'm okay with that. Oh, hey, never mind. That could be a bother. That could be a bother. This thing's also holding a lumberry, which can be a little bit wary, so even if I try to like say like put some sort of stats effect on it. Yeah, probably not gonna help me that much. Alright, misfortune, let's see what we can do. Ow. Okay, well, if I go... All right, never mind, Misfortune, I am so sorry. I was hoping you would go first, but this thing's really fast, somehow. <laughs> All right then, um, hmm. All right then, Toofly, let's see what we can do. You are higher level, so hopefully you can kinda 
do a little bit more here? Let's see. I'll go for water gun. How are you outspeeding me? Ow. Okay. Let's play our curse is happening right now with those stupid crits. All right, so close. Problem is you're probably going to heal. You might need to take one for the team, buddy. <laughs> Let me check here. The turbo slow, muscles down. Jupiter, let's check your summary really quick. You have 22 speed. So two fleet is 31, but still going second. Basically means that Jupiter might get lucky and survive the attack, but probably not. So, cool. Thank you, Whitney. I knew that was coming sooner or later. I just didn't expect it then. All right, Tufli, you're gonna have to take one for the team, buddy. Uh, let's do a, let's see. That will be a little too weak. That's too weak as well. This is way overkill for what I need. These are all way overkill for what I need. All right, muscle, let's bring you back up the snuff. It's fine, we're dealing with a powerhouse. It's all good. All right, let's get a cry drop in there. All right, one more ought to do it. As long as we don't get crit, we pretty much got this. Okay. Cool. Thank you, game. Stop doing stomp. <laughs> All right, what do I got? Uh, I don't really have anything too special. I could do some stuff, but nothing really too good, unfortunately. So, hmm. I'm not going... I'm not going first no matter what I do, so you're gonna have to take one for the team. All right, now I just need somebody to last a hit and I got this. Unfortunately, Jupiter, not, probably might not last the hit, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> All right, let's do Thundershock. Okay, Jupiter, you got this, be tanky, good. Okay, awesome. That means I'm going first. <laughs> I forgot you had the Lumberry on you. Uh. <laughs> That's okay. Thundershock, please. I may be going second, but you have like one HP. This thing did not even use rollout and is still decimated me. Yeah, this milk tank is no joke. I took it out rather soundly, honestly. It wasn't that big of a deal. If I had more healing on me, I could have just spammed them. It's no big deal. There we go, Jupiter. You did good. Ugh. Wah! Wah! You meanie. My badge, please. Excelente. I'm not getting my badge. Seems to be about to fall over. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no, he made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What? What do you want? A badge? Yeah, that's why I bought you. All oh, right, I forgot. Here's the plane badge. That makes it even worse. It's like a standard piece of paper at this point. The plane badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. All right, TM45 gives us the move Attract. It makes full use of Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? That's right. I heard that this thing called the Pokemon Athlon Dome is right now open next to the National Park. You should go try it since you're so good at battling your Pokemon. The Poke Athlon is actually a really fun kind of side activity that I will be getting into. Just not yet. I need to get out of here and I need to go around to, uh, hello, hello. There we go, that was weird. All right, let's get out of here and get healed. You won? Great, I was busy admiring the powerful trainers here. 
You do you, buddy. I'm out of here. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Azure. How are you? Kind of useful item while shopping, so I brought it with your money. Sorry. I asked the delivery man to take it to you. You should stop by the nearest Pokemon art department store and pick it up. I know, it'll be useful. I hope so, because the first thing you gave me was garbage. <laughs> All right, let's head on over there first and check out what our mother just gave us. Yes, what do we got? A repel. It's not awful. Could be better, though. I'm trying to catch Pokemon, so that's not really what I need right now. All right, and now that we're all healed up, since we just beat the gym, we now have proof that we are really good at can handle a watering can. So let's head right on over to this place and get our watering can. Hello, I'm responsible. Apparently there's an odd tree on Route 36, I know. They say it dances when you water it, I know, you already told me this. Well, that's a plane badge from Golden Rod Gym. Did you defeat Whitney? Well, there's nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use a squirt bottle for a while then. You gave me a squirt bottle instead. It's even like, I guess you just don't see me as responsible. You just gave me a little... <laughs> oh, never mind. Keep it. I wanted the watering can. A squirt bottle is literally just me, like, pointing at a Pokemon and just going... Psh. All right. Well, now that we did that, we have a new route to explore. Right up here. So, next time Azure plays more Pokemon Heart Gold, we... Just got the plane badge. It's all shiny and fancy. That is three badges down, five more to go. See you all then.